and you can feel that bo bone that's going top of that. And okay. But I can see what you're talking about. They're maybe a little easier. I just snap a few pictures too. Well, you got a nice color zone. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. But you have more to work with. That's why it's a little bit easier oh, with the bigger yeah. ones, or yeah. But this is the old French Canadian way, that, and there's there's nobody uses this anymore. Well, that's what Darren and I were talking about. I'm like, well, my grandpa showed me how to clean fish, and he was explaining how he does it. And I'm like, well, with a, they go down, and they cut all those, like straight down and along that. Yeah. And then they could take the wide bones afterwards, but they get all the belly meat gone too. So I don't know. It's just this is the way I learned it. So this is the way I but definitely a female, don't you think, with eggs or? Yeah. Yeah, I that would have been. And injustice to have me clean this one and ruin a big fillet. <laughs> there you can hear the bone. Wow. A little bigger ribs to find, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're a lot tougher, too. But now is where you get that big bottom fillet, right? When you V back in then? Yeah, you get a, a fillet. You get so far and then you can... Oh yeah, you can hear it there. Holy smokes. <sighs> like riding a bike. <laughs> yeah, because I remember that. You left that connected, so then you would... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So I remembered it. Like I said, it just didn't quite go as smooth as what you're doing when I was showing my father-in-law to do it. That's cool back there. Yeah. I had that thought, too. But we stuck them in water thinking we'd keep them a little bit better so they wouldn't oh, yeah, freeze Oh, yeah, they keep that way. And Darren had quite a few. He was in a clean. He had caught some perch earlier down on Big Stone. Oh, did he? Yep, he got into some pretty good perch. I thought he said the one was close. It was like 12 and a half or 13. Is that pretty oh, good for yeah. a perch? No. That's... Oh, there. There's no bones in that thing. Good. You can check it. But... Oh, I trust you. No, well, you check it when you get home. You'll feel it. Yeah. There. But... Yeah, it's got a nice kind of a golden color, doesn't oh, it? it's really good. Beautiful. <laughs> it's quite the story, too, I tell you. Oh, I think Darren, like I said, about gave him a heart attack. <laughs> well, like I said, I didn't even set the hook yet. I look and I see him down in there after the bobber is down six yeah. inches. And I'm like, oh, it's a big fish. Get him up the, out of the hole, hand over hand. Didn't even try and reel in that little yeah. high tech, it said, fishing pole. It's just a plastic deal but no Maybe drink. Maybe we should spend a few bucks and buy a better pole. <laughs> well, I was jigging with my better pole. And I had this one for old school, right? Yeah. And then Darren's like, yeah, then I saw you going hand over hand, getting excited. I figured it must have been a big one. Well, yeah, it was a nice fish. He's like, next time, Brady, ask for some help on that. I'm like, I will, Darren. Because <laughs> like I said, it came off, and then I just reacted. Didn't even worry about getting – for a split second, I hesitated, right? Yeah. So I figured, oh, I'm going to get pricked or start bleeding. Well, I reached down there and grabbed him right before he went down the hole because he came off the hook. <laughs> so I always check. You can't guarantee, even on a new pole, that the hook's tied properly. Well, you got tied yourself. Well, exactly. I'm sure I must touch how to pipe. That's what I told Darren, because he let me use his Swedish pimple, right? 
Yeah. And I tied it on, Grandpa, and I did the same thing you taught us there. You know, you do like a six twist, then you come back through the loop. Yeah. Yeah. So then Darren's like, good. You're not going to lose my lure then. <laughs> oh, I forgot <laughs> to give it back to him. I'll have to call him. Oh, well, that's good enough. Yeah. He said he's got plenty. Is, tough. is that froze a little bit? Yeah. Well, wow. And don't some guys try and move the fillet and not the knife? I've always done like you're doing when I tried showing my father-in-law, as I would saw it, you know, right through with yeah. the knife. Darren said some of the guys when he's been cleaning move the fillet, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, we got it. There ain't no meat left in that. <laughs> and this is all bone, of course. Yeah. See that anatomy. Huh? There, the boys could learn something from that right there. You yeah, know what I mean? It's all. Yeah. 